Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I'm here to do an unboxing and a full flip through of the newly released Seasons of the Witch in Bulk Oracle by Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz and illustrated by Tiana Lukovic. And I just received this. It's a Rockpool publishing deck. Okay. And first of all, the uh, packaging is very nice. If you watch my videos, you know packaging means a lot to me. So it's a nice, sturdy box. And let's see what we have here. I like moon inside the box. First of all, we have a really nice guidebook. It's going to be a glossy finish. And with the guidebook, we have a leaflet here saying to download your free Rockpool Oracle Reading Cards app available now at rockpoolpublishing.com. So very, very nice. It gives you instructions on the back how to download it. Okay. And this is a nice guidebook. It's kind of thick, too. Let's see what's inside the guidebook. We have our table of contents. Okay, and then it goes into an introduction. And it says, the wheel now turns to Imbolc, the midway point between the start of winter and the start of spring. In each deck of the Seasons of the Witch Oracle deck series, we hone in on one guiding light, our North Star, to represent the energy of each Sabbath. Imbolc is associated with patience, hope, transitions, and beginning the ascent back to the light after the darkness of the winter months, among other things. But in our hearts, we felt like this is the perfect season to represent the self. And Imbolc, I believe, is February the 1st. Okay, and this is going to uh, give you the themes of the deck, okay, and areas of focus, awakening, cleansing, healing, hope, illumination, innocence, inspiration, light, patience, sprouting, transitions, well-being, and youth. And then it's going to tell you how to use the cards. It's going to go into the pulling of the cards. And it's saying you may wish to establish an oracle reading ritual, such as lighting your favorite candle or incense, playing music, or using a particular space to do your readings. So some nice information there. Okay, mini messages, repeating element, daily guidance or reflection cards. And it talks about the uh, one card pull. And I do that every time I wake up. I will pull an oracle card. Usually it's an oracle card from a new deck that I want to get familiar with, um, such as this. Uh, for example, I'll uh, take a card each day as my meditation focus and uh, post that as my card of the day. And it's going to go into the different card spreads. Okay. The Imbolc Cross. Aquarius spread, candle dressing spread, coming of spring spread, rosemary bread spread, sacred space spread, self ceremony spread. That's a lot of spreads. <laughs> That's a nice variety of them. And it's going to go right into the inball cards. And it's going to give you a nice color picture. Okay. It's going to give you the number of the card, the keyword, okay, and then also what the keywords uh, are about. So this one would be number one, amethyst, and the keywords would be intuition, spiritual connection, stress relief. And then it will tell you what the card is about. For example, this one says you may be experiencing a very emotional or stressful time when you receive the amethyst card. Perhaps a situation has gotten out of hand and you aren't sure how you're going to resolve the matter. Amethyst is considered to be both a stone of spiritual connection and helpful in seeking sobriety, which suggests the answer to your question is likely a balance between spiritual and practical means. Taking time to clear your mind in a meditative practice could help in seeking a solution to your problem or could provide inspiration for your next steps. However, it is still up to you to put the guidance you have received into practice. So how nice is that? Okay, and I have a huge amethyst cluster that I have on my altar and I use that to keep my cards cleansed. Okay, and it also keeps the uh, air throughout my home. Uh, very positive and cleansed as well. So I love, love Amethyst. And it's going to go into all of the cards. 
Okay, so you're gonna get a picture. You're going to get, oh, and I'm sorry, I didn't realize. There's also, after it tells you about the card. Okay, some of these I believe have a ritual. No, no, I guess I'm wrong. I saw something back here. Well, anyway, like I was saying, uh, these are very, very um, nice descriptions of what the card is about. Not too much information, not too little, about a page and a half of information on each card. And it's going to go through all of the cards. I believe there's 45 cards in this deck, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe 44. Let's see here. Get these pages. Oh, I think that's it. Yep. It's like 44 cards in the deck. Yes. And then it's going to tell you about the authors and about the illustrator. So very nice made guidebook. Okay. And let's take a look at the cards. And first of all, look at the blue gilding. It's like a sapphire blue. How nice is that? The camera's picking up on it. Very nice. And if you'd like to purchase this deck, you could click the link down below in the description box. Okay. And these are going to be, cardstock is nice. Okay. They're going to be larger cards. They cover my entire hand. Okay. And I don't have the biggest hands. I don't have the smallest. I just have average hands. And I can't get over that gilding. Love it. Love the blue. Okay. And here we go. We have Amethyst. Card number one. Card two is Angelica. Card three is Antlers. And the messages are on the cards too, which is really nice. If you don't want to look at the guidebook, you could just read the messages on the card. This one, for example, says, allow the magic of who you are to be seen by the eyes you keep. You are enough, my dear. Take ease in receiving. Beautiful. Four is Aquarius. All are capable of dreaming, but it is those who surrender to vision who are visionaries. I like the little candles in the background too. And I like the fact that it's like a snowy scene in the back. I'm in the Northern Hemisphere and we get a lot of snow in February when in bulk would be. So this is very appropriate with the snow. We have snow outside the window here. Arts and crafts. Six bathing ritual. Seven black bear. I love the full moon. Eight is blackberries. Nine is bloodstone. Ten is Bridget. Eleven Bridget's doll. Twelve is candle dressing. Thirteen is casserole. And that is the perfect comfort food. Nice little glass of wine here, too, with the candles lit. Very nice. Cinnamon rolls. Oh, my goodness. They're my favorite. <laughs> I don't care if I ever have another donut as long as I live, but I can't do without cinnamon rolls. Fifteen, coming of spring. Sixteen, consecrate tools. 17, Dark Days of Winter. 18, Dawn. 19 is Devotional. 20 is Dream Realm. 21 is Forged in Fire. Your strength was crafted through adversity. A mastery only you behold. 22 is garlic. 23, greenhouse. 24, grimoire. 25, groundhog. 26, horned owl. 27, House Mouse. 28, 
incense, allow the smoke to reveal the truth, clearing the haze while lifting the fog. And that's the picture that's on the box. Keening, 29. Kalning, number 30. Milk Moon Witch, number 31. 32 is North Star. 33, Peppermint. 34, River Rocks. I was just talking about River Rocks today. I just did an entire landscape project of River Rocks around my entire home. And so River Rocks are very, very grounding. Um, they also bring abundance, peace, and wealth. 35 is Rosemary Bread. 36, Sacred Space. 37, Self Ceremony. 38, Serpents. 39, Snowdrops. 40, Snowflakes. 41 is Swan. 42 is Weather Divination. 43, Winter Besom. Last but not least, 44, Winter Woodlands. Take time to honor what you feel. Self-compassion is the healing balm you desire. Look at the beautiful, beautiful artwork on this card. Love it, love it. Uh, these cards are very interesting. I'm going to really enjoy working with these. I just love the, the sapphire blue gilding on them. And what's nice is the cards didn't stick together because sometimes when you get gilded cards, they're stuck together and you're kind of peeling them, hoping you don't ruin the artwork. Uh, these cards would be great for a beginner. Um, you can open a reading with these, close a reading with these, uh, along with tarot cards. You could just do a one-card draw like I'm going to do each day. You could just do an oracle reading. There's plenty of spreads in the book to show you how to use them. Um, and let's see how these are to shuffle. Yeah, very easy to shuffle, even though they're a larger card. No problem at all shuffling them. I'm very, very excited to start using these and read uh, that guidebook. And again, if you would like to purchase a deck of these for yourself, just click the link down below in the description box. This is going to be a welcome addition to my ever-growing Oracle deck collection. And if you've enjoyed this unboxing and full flip through, uh, just click the like button down below and make sure you subscribe because I will be back with more.